I don't know why. But you guys really like my personal videos. Why the fuck do you care about me so much? I guess this is another fucking get to know me video where I'm just gonna tell you guys some shit about me and I wrote down 20 facts. <coughs> Actually, there's 18 facts, but we don't have to like talk about that. Right? But that's pretty much my intro. Let's do it! Number one! I was named after the Amanda Show. I was named, I was after, named after the Amanda, Amanda Show. Amanda. Yeah, yep, I was named after crack addict. Amanda, please! Number two! If my eyebrows aren't done, I literally look like the Cookie Monster. Like Amanda? Nope. <laughs> cookie Monster. Number three! Sometimes I'm too lazy to shower. I'm a gross bitch! Fact number four! Can you see it? I bet you can. I bet it's blurry. My craziness depends on who I'm around. So like, if I'm not comfortable around you, then I'm probably not gonna be crazy. I'm probably gonna be very chill. But if I'm very comfortable around you, you're gonna get annoyed as fuck by me. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm fuck. Cinco de Mayo. That's a holiday. I think, is that a holiday? Or it's just a Mexican day? Is that, oh, was that racist? I am terrified of rats. Seri oh my God. Seriously, just like talking about rats, just like thinking about rats. <laughs> Like, it fucks me up. It literally does things to me that I didn't think were possible, bro. Like, ugh. whenever I even mention rats, I feel like there's a thousand of them crawling up on me. Uh, number six! I think I'm good at rapping. Give me a beat! I think I'm good at rapping. You might just catch me spitting, but never ever slipping. <laughs> but no, like on all seriousness, I think I'm good at rapping. Like rather it be like writing raps for myself about my own personal life or ghostwriting for somebody else. Like I like I made a song like for okay, like I'm gonna I'm gonna rap. Oh, okay, I'm gonna like genuinely rap a little bit for you guys, okay? So fucking feel special because I don't rap for nobody. I made up this rap about a suicidal man who was saying he was suicidal. Who was saying that he was suicidal? Who was saying that he is suicidal? Who was saying that he is suicidal? Why can't I say suicidal? Who is saying that he is suicidal in a song? For some reason, the first person that popped into my mind was Eminem. I don't know why, but um, let me just rap the song to you guys. I guess this is this has nothing to do with me. I just want you guys to know that this has nothing to do with me. I was literally just writing like this just came to my mind out of nowhere, and I was like, yo, somebody could like actually sing this. Like it sounds good. I wish you could open your eyes and see him going through bullshit. Then you will see. I wish I could close my eyes and shoot a bullet through my head. And that's kind of all I got. And and then here are a few of my own raps that I wrote by myself for my own personal life if you see me stunt and just know that I pay for it by myself a minute ago I was struggling but now I'm working on my wealth turning my own dreams into plans cuz friendships ain't never last I don't know and this is the longest rap that I've ever written like the the, 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 the rap like this is the rap that I think I could actually like make into a song but I'm not sure yet I don't, I don't know if I like it yet these are honestly just like things I'll never finish writing I've been done wrong so many times, I'm immune to it. So many chances that I gave, but people still do it. It's whatever at this point, I mean, I'm used to it. All the bullshit, all the fake shit, I'm oblivious. And shit be from the last person you expected it. Your loyalty, I respect it. My loyalty, you took advantage. My love, you took for granted. You didn't realize what you had until you no longer had it. But I don't give a fuck, yo, and that's official. With your feelings, they careless, so fuck that I'm selfish When people claim they love you, that shit's artificial But fucking you over, that was their initial Watch out for the lies written between the lines Especially the ones who claim they ride with you till you die And now when people talk, I pretend to listen Cause I know how people come in and I know their missions And then they ask me why I'm heartless like they ain't the reason Yo, that fake shit turned me into a demon And when God sends some real shit, I'll be so blind I won't even see it But even blood does you wrong, yo, I can't believe it Yeah there's a lot more, honestly, but I, I, I'm just, that's, that, that, but yeah, that fact is over. I think I'm a good rapper. <laughs> just so you know. Just so you know, I'm fucking conceited, bitch. Number seven. I know it's an eight, bitch. I'm just trying to be funny. I am not an affectionate person. I'm really not an affectionate person. Me and affection doesn't mix. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just like not affectionate like i i'll hug people and like and shit but like i'm not affectionate like i don't hug people to let them know how much i love them i just don't i don't i don't know i don't know i'm fucking heartless okay i'm sorry number eight my favorite color is periwinkle what is periwinkle you might be asking or you already know well i'm about to fucking educate you you know when you see a color and you're not sure if it's blue or purple or you see a color and some might say that color is blue or some might say that color is purple. Put it again! 
together, bitch. Periwinkle. It's Periwinkle. Wait, I have a jacket that's Periwinkle. I'm gonna show you. Periwinkle. You see it? It's not blue. It's not purple. Periwinkle. Number nine. Number nine. Is that a gang sign? Fuck. I will never allow myself to work somewhere that I don't like working. So you will never catch me sitting in a fucking cubicle or sitting in a fucking office, bro. It's not gonna happen, I'm telling you. I'd rather fucking live on the streets, I'm telling you. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Number 10 kind of goes with number nine. Um, But first, let me introduce it because like... <laughs> number, yes! <coughs> number 10. I'm afraid of failure. Self-explanatory, I'm afraid of failure. I don't really have to go into detail about this one. I'm just afraid of failure. Number 11. My socks are really dirty, ew. I pick my wedgie at least 10 times a day. I mean, I just can't help it, okay? Just get stuck up my butt. Fact number 12. I hate people that ease you or compare themselves to you, if you don't know what ease means. I hate people that ease you or compare themselves to you, especially your friends. If you have a friend that looks at you up and down when you walk into a room or just like looks at you up and down all the time, and then when you catch them looking at you, they look away or they look at you. They not your friend. I'm just being truthful. I'm just being truthful. Fact number 13. I leave plates of food in my room for at least three to six business days. It's not that I'm gross, it's that I'm lazy. Okay, so my, oh, okay, I'm lazy and gross. Fact number 14 goes with fact number 13. I'm a fucking gross person. A very, Gross person. Oh, fuck. That was a good one. What was I saying? Number 15. I don't really want to talk about this one because it is literally 1 a.m. right now and I don't want to talk about this. And I'm going to be scared after saying this, but I'm just going to say it anyway. I'm a pussy, so I'm like very scared of paranormal shit. That was, oh my god, I farted and it smells really bad. <laughs> my farts don't usually smell. What was I saying? Oh. I'm very scared of paranormal shit. Like anything that has to do with like ghosts or like fucking demons. I, oh, oh, eh! Who said that? I'm not talking about that. I, like I love scary movies and shit, but I can't watch scary movies because I feel like it's gonna happen to me. You feel me? But yeah, now you know. I'm gonna get a little, just a little bit deep with number 16. Just a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna still be friends in five years with the friends that I'm friends with now. And to be honest, I don't really care. Number 17! Oh, next. My age. Number 17! I'm 17. I'm 17. I'm about to be 18. Um, I don't know how to not curse. Like, I've tried not cursing. But I don't know how to not do that. I'm pretty sure I've been cursing since I was like seven years old. And it's, it's, I, I learned it from somewhere. I don't know where, but I learned it from somewhere. I don't, I don't even realize I'm saying. Oh my God. I got scared by a lizard, guys. It's outside of my window. Numero 18. I could watch Law and Order all day. I'm not joking. I'm not proud of it. Like, I got, no, I'm serious though. I could like watch Law and Order all day. Probably rewatch every episode of Law and Order probably at least five times. Do you think I'm joking? Do you think I'm joking about how obsessed I am with this show in the criminal justice system? Sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Ding ding! Okay, you guys, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just, just, you know, get to know me, ho! Get to fucking know me, bitch! Now you know me just a little bit more. And I hope you like that. I hope you enjoy this video or whatever. And, oh, I almost forgot. Thank God I remembered, bro, because my camera's about to die. But, um, I never tell you guys my Instagram or any of my social medias. I think... I think it's time. I think it's time. I think it's time. I and mean, you guys are always asking me for it. So I'm going to tell you guys. My Instagram is yo...